In this video, we're going to be going over the comparator. Before we begin the example, a couple quick things to review. The first is the non-ideal op-amp equation. In this equation, the output voltage is described as the gain of the op-amp multiplied by the difference between the positive input and the negative input. Now the gain of the op-amp is going to vary from op-amp to op-amp, but generally this A value, the gain is a very large number, typically around 10 to the five ish. And again, this changes with your op-amp. So this is the first critical idea for the comparator. The second main idea for the comparator is the idea of saturation. The output voltage, V out, is bounded between the two power supply inputs, VCC plus and VEE minus. Now, these can be different values. Sometimes it's between zero and a positive number. Other times it's between a positive number and a negative number. And this is going to depend on the problem or what circuit you're working on and what op amps you choose. So what it means that V out is bounded between these two, if you calculate from that non-ideal equation that V out is supposed to be a number that is say greater than VCC plus, then V out instead is going to be equal to the value of VCC plus because the op amp is going to try to exceed that limit, but it's still limited by the power supply input that's given to the op amp. Similarly, if the output's calculated to be lower than the lower limit, then V out is going to instead be equal to that lower limit. Now with these two key ideas in mind, let's assume we take this op amp and we connect the V reference to a 1.5 volt DC power supply, and we connect the negative input VI to an AC power supply with an offset. So what that's going to look like is we have our DC 1.5 volt power supply, and let's say that our AC power supply is a sinusoid going between two and one volts. And let's also set our VCC rail to three volts. And this is going to be the upper limit of what our op amp is able to output. And let's set our lower limit to be equal to zero volts. And this is going to be the problem setup. So this is our three volt upper limit. And this is the maximum value that the op amp can output. And down here we have our lower limit. And this is going to be the minimum value that our op amp can output. Now that we have the graph of our two input voltages as well as our two rail voltages, let's graph what our output voltage is going to look like based on our two primary assumptions about how this circuit works. So at the very beginning, we see that our red line becomes greater than the reference positive input blue line that we have. If the red line becomes greater than the blue line, that means that this argument within the parentheses becomes a negative number. When we multiply that negative number by our gain A, the output voltage becomes a very large negative number. So V out is going to try to go to a value that's outside the range of our rails. So if it tries to become a very large negative number, it's going to become limited on the lower side. Immediately, the output of our circuit is going to go to zero. And it's going to stay at zero as long as the red line is greater than the blue line. Now at this point, the red line becomes smaller than the blue line. So that's gonna make this argument inside these parentheses a positive number. So when that argument's a positive number and we multiply that by the large gain value A, the output's going to try to be a large number, but that's limited by the positive rail input. So this is going to go up to a value of three volts. And now we have the graph for the output of our comparator. 